the Icefields Parkway, or Highway 93, is a scenic drive between Banff and Jasper that has visitors flocking from all around the world to see it. Some people call it Jasper Icefields, and some just refer to it as the Parkway. Regardless, it's where one can come to enjoy a drive in a nature surrounded by waterfalls, rock, spears, ancient glaciers, and turquoise lakes. However, there are some things to know before you set out to drive the Icefields Parkway. This is no ordinary road, after all. The Icefields Parkway has been deemed one of the most beautiful road trips in the entire world, and for good reason. Not only you are in the Canadian Rockies, but each and every turn on this road is met with mountains, ice fields, waterfalls, and tons of glorious stop-offs that will have visitors beaming with their delight. We're driven the ice fields parkway many times, and it honestly never gets old. a struggle, every day is a trial, every day is a failure, I have to walk another mile, I'll go, wherever you go, every day is a heartbeat, every day another moan, every day is a gallows, I can feel it in the bone
This life doesn't go well with me I'm not a member of the band Do you think you can like me Despite that sitting on God's right hand I'm alone Take me home As you make the bed So we must lie No one knows Where the life force flows Fields Parkway is a 232-kilometer stretch of double-lane highway, taking you along the Continental Divide. It runs from Lake Louise in Banff or to the town of Jasper, which are both fantastic places in themselves. You can drive the parkway from Jasper to Banff and from to Banff to Jasper. If you have the time, I would give it at least two full days to drive the Icefields Parkway with a stop overnight somewhere in the middle, near the Columbia Icefields. There are also a few Jasper campsites. If you venture out in the summer and start at sunrise and end at sunset, it is possible to see most of the main stops on the Icefields. There are many mass visit sites along the way and there is absolutely no way you can cover them all in a day unless you start at sunrise and end at sunset, rushing through every stop. If you want to do any hiking along the parkway, this time will need to be accounted for it too. The Icefields Parkway is a great no matter the season. It is open all year 
unless avalanche conditions are too high during winter storms, closures rarely last more than a day. Many people would say the best time to drive the Icefields Parkway is in the summertime between mid-June to early September. This is when the days are long and the wildflowers are blooming and the lakes are in their prime. You also get hints of fall color on the Icefields Parkway in the late September. For a winter traveler, the best time to drive the Icefields Parkway is between December and March, when the peaks are snow-capped and it feels like you're driving through Narnia. Though this is most dangerous time to drive as the Icefields Parkway and the road conditions deteriorate in the winter, it is also worth noting that services on the parkway like restaurants, accommodation, campsites and the only fuel stations are closed from November to April. So extra planning needs to be done before making the drive. Early June is as close to summer as you're going to get without the hordes of tourists and crowds that you get in July and August. However, you do run the risk of some of the lakes not being completely thawed. If you drive the parkway in the late September, the road will be awash with fall colors, though you won't see the tons of larches along the drive, unfortunately.